What macros should you use? Proteins, fats, or carbs? Well, first of all, we have to understand that when it comes to losing weight, the basic premises of this is calories in, calories out. Now, it does get a little bit more complex, but if you're just getting going, honestly, if you just ate a little bit less than what you're actually burning, and if you don't know how to find that, go to the last video where I tell you how to do that, and you'll be able to discover that you'll be able to lose weight of doing that consistently for 28 days. Now, when it comes to specific macros, proteins, fats, and carbs, I want you to start with your protein because protein is actually lower in calories than fats and it provides the feeling of satisfaction and it also helps to build and repair your muscle. And lastly, it's slower digesting than carbs. So the protein is gonna keep you fuller, longer, it's gonna provide you a bit of a fuel source for longer. Now your body doesn't like protein as a primary fuel source, it can use it, but it would first go to carbs. And when it comes to should you eat carbs, more carbs, or more fats, Honestly, when it comes to the caloric deficit, it doesn't really matter. But if you're lifting weights frequently, you're doing like a HIIT style workout at Fit Club, or you're playing sports, then you need carbohydrates for that short burst of fuel. Okay, now fats are gonna make you feel fuller, longer. They're gonna provide more taste to your food. They're slower digesting, but they are higher in calories and they take longer to digest for your body to be able to use it for your next workout session. So when it comes to carbs and fats, honestly, when it comes into the macros, if you did 50% protein, 25% carbs, 25% fats, I would be okay with that. But when it comes to the belly burn workout, again, your coaches are going to give you the specific calories and give you the specific macros. So which macros should you use? If this is just you and you're not in a challenge and you don't work with Fit Club, then I would say make protein your primary macro source so if you did like a 40 to 50% protein and then you split carbs and fats based on your preference, I'd be okay with that. The calories, you have to go back, you have to do the seven day average, you're gonna be able to find out how many calories you be, should be consuming. But when it comes to which macros you should use, protein should be number one.